Back in the 1970s, a lot of coaches and players were reluctant to wear a wire. They acted like we were trying to spy on them. But we had all this new technology, and we were dying to use it. So we put a wire on anybody or anything. Welcome. How are you? How are you? Pretty good. How's everything? In 1970, we put our microphone on the Chicago Bears mascot, a fellow named George Motika. I'll catch you at Wrigley Field. All right, don't, don't walk away from me. Don't walk. Don't just walk away and not saying nothing. I know all the players. Uh, most of the players are very good friends of mine. I have a lot of respect for them, and they have a lot of respect for me. Uh, when they're coming out of the dressing room, they'll come right by me, and I'll put out my hands or paws. Let's put, I put my paws out, and uh, they will uh, tap me on the hand. There ain't very many of them that'll go by that won't tap me on the hand. All right, gang, come on. All right, Smitty, babe. Let's get him. Come on. Where's Butkus at? Did you see him go by? I didn't either. I go up to some of them like Butkus or Sayers, and, and I wish him well. Hubby Joe, good luck. Good luck, baby. Ah, oh, let's go! Let's get him now, come on! I had several costumes made, and there were several different designs. Uh, I took these costumes to Mr. Hallis Jr., and uh, he looked at one, and he says, George, I don't like this. I don't like the color of it. And I took another one, and he says, well, the teeth don't show enough. It doesn't look vicious enough. He says, I want one that looks real rough and tough. So after about four or five of them, we took a picture of the old costume, and they made up the costume that I have on now. And when I brought that to Mr. Uh, Hellas Jr., he liked it. He says, fine, George. So I had it made up right then and there. Of course, it's been damaged several times, but other than that, uh, I had a little fracas with one ball player one time, and he sort of swung at me and smashed at it. The big Gene Daddy Lipscomb hit me one time, and he really did a job on it. He smashed it up pretty bad. <sighs> Tastes good. It really tastes good, man. Thank you, partner. Someone always pulls the tail off the bear. I think I, I lose maybe sometimes five or six of them a year. Throw that ball, Jackie, baby. Come on. Dad! George worked as a window washer at the O'Hare Airport, but he lived for his Sundays on the sideline. All right, baby. Did you see that ball where it bounced at? Hi. George never received a penny from the Bears. In fact, he bought his own costume and paid for the weekly dry cleaning. Come on, Jack, throw the long ones. I want them two-yard jobs. Man, oh, man, what's the matter with you? Don't get touched on by them things. All right, Dick, you take this one, Dick. He just loved being on the field, even if most of the people acted like he wasn't there. All right, Dick. The guy's got a pair of hands like he's got glue, you know that? Huh? Damn right he has, and he'll throw the ball him half of the times. Watch that pushing! Man, oh man! Hell, I can see it better than they could. I can see every play as well as anybody else. I have very good visibility through the yes, sir. All right! All right! That's about time! Okay, now! Head away! I'm I'll maybe lose uh, five, six pounds sometimes in a ball game in that thing, in a bear suit, uh, when it's real hot. Because I'm jumping around quite a bit. Oh, it's really sweaty. I, I, I'm just wringing wet when I get through there. Uh, the bottom part smells, the top part smells, and uh, uh, it's the uh, glue that really smells in there. It's, 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 it's pretty, but sometimes it knocks me out sometimes when it really smells. We got great stuff that day, but a lot of it we couldn't use. That's because the Bears were a losing team, and George was as frustrated as every other Chicago fan. He'd start criticizing the coaches and then yelling at the players, and we knew we couldn't put that on the air. Imagine George Hallis' reaction if he saw his team being heckled by its own mascot. Man, oh, man. Oh, fuck Christ. Where the hell are you playing at? Oh, brother. Who is that 39? Huh? There was three guys around there. Uh, what the hell you call that? Hey, what a stupid call that was. Come on, let's go, you guys. Jeez, brother. Look at that. Look at this. Fuck a Ryan out loud. Holy man. What the, what do you call that? What do you call that? 
Brother, holy jumping jeepers. What's the matter with you guys? <laughs> all right, it's about time. Okay, now. All right, Dick, out of the way, but guess. That's the way to do it. Watch it, Benny. Sometimes I'll kneel down and you'll get a joker behind you and he'll say, come on, George, move it, will you? Get out of the way here, or something like that. The last couple of years, they had a fellow that was sitting down there on the sideline. Yeah, he gave me a pretty hard time. He, he, he was really belligerent. He, he, he was really rough. He started throwing things at me and stuff like this. But I have a lot of fun with the people out there. And as far as getting them riled up, I don't have no problem with them. All I do is raise my hands and they're ready to scream. All right, gang! Sometimes they bring their kids and I take pictures with them and the kids get a bang out of throwing peanuts to me. How do you guys like the ball game so far? Yeah, yeah, huh? Good. Talk out loud so we can hear you. How do you like the ball game? It's doing pretty good. Yeah, do you think the Bears are gonna win it? My dad passed away when I was when he when I was pretty young and I always loved sports. And I used to go to the ball games when I was a little kid. And I used to admire everybody who knew the ball players. And I always said to myself, boy, someday I, I would like to really meet all these guys and be around them. Out of the way, George, babe! Come on, let's go, gang! Well, I never thought that this dream would come true, but it has. When I get out there, I feel like I'm in another world. I'm out there by myself, and I'm the only one out there in this bear suit. They may be watching Gale Sayers or Butkus, but I'm out there, and someone I know is watching me, and that makes me feel good. I love doing it. All right, gang! Nice gun, Ben! <laughs>